Right in the dick. Airbo, fun haver down the side. To clear the smoke after the run. Drinking monsters, smashing the throttle, clearing that shit out all night. To be honest with you, I bet you that thing would run all fucking weekend if we could keep the oil from flying out of it. Ah, oh, we could do that. We just don't put oil in it. So we're here, Road Atlanta, round two. Did some changes in between the last two rounds, suspension geometry stuff in the rear. We made really big changes in the off season with some lengthening of the arms and changing of some roll center stuff. And uh, this is what happened when you're in the hot pit. But yeah, I think we nailed it in terms of like the scope of the year, but maybe we didn't get it dialed in for Long Beach. I think we, we had just a little bit too fast of cars for Long Beach. Um, we were definitely hooked up in the chassis end of things. Just the longer arms and the other changes we made just made it so that it was a little too fast for what we had. So we showed up a little bit looser this round. We're shooting this intro. I've already done two laps. Both chase runs. First run was sick. Followed Dylan. He had a good lead run. I was able to door him like the entire time. And then uh, I followed Olsen. He had a little bit of a delay in the transition while I was diving. So I ended up blasting to the inside of him, hitting the interclips and blowing the front half of my car off a little bit. But either way, uh, obviously it was his first lap. So I didn't know what to expect. And it was better to do that than hit him on a pr first practice lap. Later on in the weekend, if you do that shit, I'm steamrolling straight through you. But right now, I'm, I'm you know, it's practice. So I'm excited to go out and do a couple more laps. Dan drove my car to break in the clutch. And he had seat pads in there, so I just did the last two laps with additional seat pads and it felt all goofy. We got those out now, I'm a little bit more dialed in. Might do a lead run and then a chase. Clear the smoke after the run. Drinking monsters, smashing the throttle, clearing that shit out all night. I wonder what. Dude, that would be awesome with the with the it what's would it clear called? Clear it so fast. Hellcat. Call Cletus. He has a Hellcat oh, yeah. power. Oh yeah, Cletus would do it. Is he here? Yeah. No, but he he would come How up. How far is he? He's where I'm at. But he would come up. The aluminum? It's just aluminum on the bottom. 
Oh, you leave it on the steel. trailer, dude. Oh! Yeah, you strap it on the trailer and just I thought it you were saying drifted around the course with the PVC on the bottom. No, just the smoke. <laughs> way cool. He's like, no, just the smoke. <laughs> I like that idea. Call him up. Can you get here by Saturday? I'm the live stream just like rebirth. goes oh, to him yeah. and he's just, sick. yes! There's a couple of laps of the keyhole and back there. No, just, so just, loud. just parked where the fence is at turn one. Yeah. Okay, day two of four. This is a four day event now. Friday doesn't have anything going on, so it's Thursday. I've got five laps to do in practice, which I'm not sure we'll be able to, it's pretty close. And I'm just focused on probably do three chases and two leads. Uh, try to get my leads in on fresh tires, because that's what qualifying will be. After we get those practice runs done, we go straight into qualifying. I feel really comfortable. I only got one lead lap yesterday, but it was pretty dialed. I could be a little closer on inner clip one, or two, I mean. I could fire off a little bit earlier coming down the hill, and I could be a little wider leaving the zone, but I still think yesterday's run would have been in the 90s, so we're starting off in a really good place if we're only having that one lead. So I'm excited to see how today goes. Unfortunately, we must have blown the motor on the last, or, or cracked the block, let's say, on the last uh, run yesterday. Driving up, the car felt fine, but when I drove through the line to get up to the front, I smelled some coolant, and I just assumed it was one of the 40 cars that are here, because a lot of like Jay-Z's and LS's just sweat coolant and they build coolant pressure, so I didn't even think about it. And that's probably why I hit Dylan, honestly. The car stalled on me before I pulled into the box. I warmed the car up in the box, nothing really abnormal that I was paying attention to at least. And then it stalled on the line, I had to restart it. And when I restarted it, it was a little bit of a longer crank, but we've also had that happen because trigger things and whatnot. I threw it into the first turn and when I got on the brake, it just locked the fronts up and that's not something that ever has happened. It's possible to hit the brakes so hard in the front that it would lock them up, but I have never had it happen at Atlanta before. Then I finished the run, and on the last turn when I transitioned, I just had a peak down because it felt like it was a little bit down on power. I was still pulling through and having no issue, but I saw the catch can pushing some oil, and I looked at the crankcase pressure, and it was above atmosphere. Um, so, like, we normally see, like, in the mid 30s to 50s on the dash and it was 138 so i pulled in and it wasn't really coming down it was in the 90s at idle which is near atmosphere and it was puking oil out the catch can so we uh yeah we're, we're working to fix it so we're gonna get it all prepped and ready to go so it's fresh to do one qualifying run and then tomorrow or tonight we'll maybe have the motor out tonight and assess and then back in tomorrow since we have all day tomorrow off. Um, it's a bummer i'm gonna miss probably four or five laps of practice but it's all right we'll be all, we'll be all good I'll, I'll go into qualifying with one lead lap again <laughs> like crankcase pressure has been higher this event than normal for my car right but it's not like outside of a window that we operate in yeah for sure i've seen it when it's hot hot the crankcase pressure is up there yeah yeah that's how it goes it's part of it sometimes you'll have that on these bigger you'll have that on the biggest jobs you got a rug on your it's like a rug, look at this. It's like the 70s. <laughs> I'm always turned into something on the internet, dude. I want to get my pilot's license, but Chelsea won't let me. Really? She won't let me fly. He said that I would be too reckless in an airplane. And I said I would always fly with a parachute. I will never go down with the ship. I have always thought like pilots are just convinced, and I feel like you'd be this way. It's like, as long as you're not on the ground, you can save it. Oh, that's, that's, that's yeah. not what you should tell her. <laughs> What's your plan to make sure it runs for one lap? Feed it Doritos. Doritos? Dorito. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, feed it Monster Energy. We're going to fill it full of Monster Energy, and she's going to get us in the show. <laughs> Monster Energy is going to do it for us, baby. That's what's up. That's right. <laughs> yeah, just say it one more time. Just to make sure I got it. Monster Energy. <laughs> Hey, Nikki, there's a guy down here looking for a guy who ripped his pants yesterday. He keeps saying that might be you. I said, yes, it was me. Who's on the radio? <laughs> <laughs> that 
Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> 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 right, enough. We needed to do one lap. Yeah. It should be fine. I don't have any worries about it, but there's no reason to stress. I know, it. I know. Don't push Good the ball though. Thank you. Thank you. When there's one car left, that's when I'll roll up. You're fine. I'm not worried about it. I know you're not. Not worried about it? Are you worried about it? <laughs> not at all. No, mechanically, it's actually fine. Just there's some pressure. Where I should <laughs> <laughs> To be honest with you, I bet you that thing would run all fucking weekend if we could keep the oil from flying out of it. Ah, right, we could do that. Just don't put oil in it. And Chelsea is clear to send. Here comes Chelsea Nova down the hill. Initiates. The yank of the hand. Wow, obliterates. Oh man, absolutely smacks that front left corner. You see the body kind of coming off. Wow, look at that massive angle. Lifting up that front right tire. That front right ditto. But just sinking his ditto tires in like teeth. Wow. Takes off some more body parts. That front left, you can see that kind of accessory piece, that design piece of the RTR. Speaking of the, uh, the RTR, the Mustang RTR will be debuted in Orlando. I would be surprised if there's any tread left on those nittos. I mean, that was just so abusive. And obviously the, the, the moments that stood out besides the aggressive, crazy driving, filling that second outside zone, doing a pretty good job on the inside clip, was the first and last inside clip. Both times he came up a little bit tight. Right there you can see two, almost three tires off maybe. Uh, I don't think it was three, but I saw that really quickly. And then right there again, he almost center punches it. So that's really the only big mistakes you correct for that. It's a pretty impressive run. Of course, he's driving at the limit, which is what Chelsea Denova tends to do all the time. And we either see magic or destruction. And this time, <laughs> a little bit it, of both. it was a little bit of both. <laughs> As oh you can my see, gosh. We're, <laughs> we're definitely going to need a blower for that one. So, uh, and uh, the K&N knockout qualifying, 81.6. So, yeah, X Factor 4.33. See the qualifying, 77.33, equating to 81.66. I'd be curious to see if I had all eight cylinders. What happened? I don't know. Like, either the track hooked up that much, or I was, like, way down on power. I couldn't ever blow through it. Probably right, hooked up compared to where you were. <laughs> but I was able to blow through at inner one all the time blow through at the top of the hill and this time it was not a thing. I just hate when it's so reckless. Like the run was just every clip I hit it was way off. Like it was just not clean driving. I'm not I'm in the show, I'm not complaining, but yeah. it could be way worse. Dude, I don't know what to do about could can you guys see the inside of the no, track? We can't see shit. I don't know, like I'm like cool. I already know I'm gonna be here. Start looking at inner clip three and I'm like well I know I knocked it over but like I'm looking for the corner of the track it's fully smoked out. So someone who enters like a bitch and doesn't light off early would have a clear view of it versus someone who's running it hard. What I it saw, I thought you were driving hard, but it was a little too tight. It was too tight, yeah. for sure. But, but you were saying you weren't driving it hard? I'm saying like I felt like, like you were driving it like an asshole. Nah, not at all. <laughs> really? Six out of ten. Wow. That's why it was so awful to me. I thought you were driving it hard, just too tight. So you, you should have drove it harder. I, my whole thing going out there, I'm just doing a practice lap. Because I normally drive way harder in qualifying. Limiter, lots of revving, blowing through the tire. But I did none of that. Like when I lit off at turn one, it didn't blow through it. Because yeah. I didn't drive it hard yeah, enough. You, you ate that clip. And then on the way back down the hill, I didn't know where it was. Right. I, was, I couldn't even see the inside of the track. It was yeah, so smoked well, out. The was gone. And the smoke. And the smoke. So I was like, don't crash. Yeah. And I haven't got enough leads for that memory of where to transition. I, I, if I don't drive 10 tenths, I, should, I, I just need to not drive. Uh, it's just that way. I, I'm driving. I'm like, you need to drive harder. But I'm like, I, don't, I need to finish this lap and not blow the tent yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh So yeah, we had an issue with the motor. We don't know exactly what it was. Making a lot of crankcase pressure. So we stopped practice and uh, decided to go out just for our qualifying run. Like I said, I only had one lead lap before this. So I knew I needed to go in and just get some points on the board, which is extremely hard for me because I'm really bad at driving like soft. <laughs> And I usually use all the motor and during qualifying, I ring the hell out of it. I had to get myself in the mode to just get through it. 
And I think I'd lost some patience in thinking of that and blasted the inner clip one. I feel like going up the hill, through the keyhole, all that was really, really good. I was awful at on two. And then coming down the hill, uh, I put the car right where it needed to be. And on the transition, just transition too early, put two tires off on the inside of the same spot that I did in turn one. I feel like it's just me not having the patience and not over speeding the car and driving it how I normally do. And also probably just lack of lead laps. But outside of my poor excuses of that, we made it through with the motor and the team has prepped the new motor and it's gonna get swapped in in the morning. Uh, we have all day tomorrow to put the motor in, perfect it, make sure everything's really good. And that motor is already set up exactly the way this motor is. So it should go in and be ready to go. So. We'll see how it goes. I guess we'll find out in the next video.